There's a tiny town in Florida called Christmas, where alligators are big business. We've got over 7,000 gators on the farm. With a serious bite. Come on, live up to that brook's name. The Brooks have been raising gators as a family for five decades. These gators are our livelihood. But outside the farm, wild gators are running amok. And when these beasts turn up in people's backyards, they call the Brooks. Oh, I need some help! Because they were born to rescue alligators. It's been a long, hard week on the gator farm. Dude, you're slacking. And the kids finish up cleaning the gator pens. I'm already almost done with this one. Don't rush perfection. Before getting their weekend started. Now the girls are getting ready for a friend's graduation party. And Casey has set up her cousin, Chelsea, on a blind date. So you're the only one without a boyfriend, Chelsea. We're tired of you being the fifth wheel. You guys act like I have no life. I use other stuff besides just hanging out with you guys when I... By yourself? I think they're a little jealous of my free time. The Brooks girls don't always dress like supermodels, but tonight's a special occasion, and they're dressed to the nines. Casey, our little fashionista, has planned our whole look. Her closet totally outdoes me and Brittany's, and man, does she love her shoes. I have to admit, this is my first blind date, so I don't really know how it goes. Well, we're gonna blindfold you and walk you in there, and you're not gonna see him the whole time. You're really gonna blindfold no. me? You're so gullible. Chelsea's the youngest of the three of us. She's our little cousin. Coming from a blonde, Chelsea can be really, really blonde sometimes. <laughs> Dad's calling me. What's up? Hey, we got a Does he seriously want us to go right now? Alligators in swimming pools may seem shocking, but the truth is, in Florida, they're commonplace. It has happened yet again. A family finds an alligator taking a dip in their pool. These stories are a dime a dozen on the local news. In Miami, an unwanted guest crashes a family pool. And I've told this story before. Striking a pose just a month ago. Oh. An eight-foot alligator on the front doorstep of a Fort Lauderdale home. And in central Florida, nothing, not even the summer heat, could entice people to swim in this pool. Yikes. When these creatures turn up in people's pools, lives are at risk. So the Brooks girls must respond immediately, no matter what they're doing or what they're wearing. Are you kidding me? What happened? I just broke my heel. Okay. See if you can walk, go. Oh yeah, you're good. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm furious. I love those shoes. This is ridiculous. Let's hurry up and get this done. Yeah. Around here, everyone knows to call Ho-Ho Brooks when they need a gator rescue. But when he sends the girls, people's jaws tend to drop. Ho-Ho's been here a lot of times, but he's never came dressed like this. Well, we weren't planning on it either, but yeah. we're on our way to a party. Yeah. Well, we've got a lot of gators in our pond. We uh, put a couple fences up, and put a fence around the pool to keep them out. But unfortunately, my little boy let the gate open and walked out here this morning to go swimming with him, and uh, we've got a gator in our pool. There's over a million alligators in Florida, steadily on the move between bodies of water. They could be looking for new sources of food, searching for a mate, or in need of a new home if their pond dried up. As housing developments continue to expand into swamplands, the lines between civilization and the wild become less clear. More of these deadly reptiles creep into people's yards and pools. I think he's down there. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Sure enough, there's a seven-foot gator swimming around in this pool. My little boy seen it this morning. I wasn't even looking. And, uh... Wow. There's a little boy living and playing on this property. Little kids are curious, and they like to check things out. A kid and a gator in the same area could be tragic. 
Y'all want to get the gear out of the truck and get ready? Yeah. Yeah. To rescue the gator from this pool, the Brooks girls will need to lasso it. We use a lariat rope to lasso the gator, just like a rope a cowboy would use to rope a cow. The girls tape the lariat to their pole so they can reach the beast at the bottom of the pool. Unlike a regular rope, the lariat is rigid and holds its form so they can maneuver it around the gator. Yeah, I might have to try from the other side or get him to move or something. There's no way this pole is going to reach. This pole's got to be at least 10 to 12 feet deep. I don't even know if it's going to reach him. Chelsea must get this gator into better position to have any chance of rescuing it. Oh, there he goes. All right, quick, go to the other side. Now, the dangerous work begins. We have to be careful because this is a wild animal and it doesn't know that we're here to help it. It feels threatened and it's going to try to fight back. Get it? Almost. Oh, man. He's pretty feisty. Do it fast. Fast, Chelsea, fast. Chelsea, you have to do it underneath it, not I'm like trying. that. I'm trying. He keeps trying to bite the dang pole. He's got to come up once sometime. Oh, we got him. Oh, crap, hurry. Damn, we're never going to get him. I got to figure out a way to get this lariat around the gator's neck. We don't get in the water to catch gators because the water is the gator's turf. They have a huge advantage. If a gator were to attack you in the water, if they start doing the death roll, they can tear off a limb and drown you easily. Run this way. It's on it. Okay, pull it back. Casey, All right, we got it. Pull. Pull her. Pull her. Come on, guys. Pull him in. Whoa. 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 As the gator was doing the death roll, it kind of just kept wrapping our rope. Our rope's sitting there getting shorter and shorter. Man, it just got real serious. Brittany, Casey, and Chelsea are rescuing a deadly alligator from a family swimming pool. But this gator doesn't want to leave its new home. And the gator just pulled Chelsea in. Oh, crap. Casey, okay, pull her over there. Chelsea, okay. pull the gator over there. I see the gator start swimming towards Chelsea. I'm getting that gator away from my cousin. My first thought is, you got to get out of the water now. It's a wild animal. Anything could happen. Here, here. Are you OK? Yeah. You got her, Casey? Yeah, I got her. Let's hurry up and get her out. You done ruined my dress, my hair. It's on. Pull her. Pull her. Pull her. Pull her, pull her. This alligator could easily rip off a limb or even kill a person. You can grab her tail, Casey. So the last thing most people would want to do is jump on its back. But for Brittany Brooks, it's the only way to get the job done. Brittany's hardcore. She locks that gator down. American alligators have a crushing bite, measuring at almost 3,000 pounds of pressure. However, their strength is in snapping their jaws shut, not opening them. Right, come taper. Hurry up. Still, if the gator is able to roll Brittany off its back, let's get her feet. Or shake free of her grip, it'll be ready to go back on the offensive. Get the back feet first. I'll hold her head. And that's why it must be completely restrained before the scene is safe. That's good. That was awesome. We catch gators all the time. We don't always wear these little black dresses, though. We got to get a picture of this. You want to take a selfie? Yeah. Man, that was really crazy. He looked like he was really mad. Put a pretty good fight. These pigs. <laughs> when Uncle Ho Ho called, we were all pretty bummed that he was making us turn around and go all the way to catch the gator. but. Seeing the little boy, it made it all worthwhile coming here and taking that gator out, making it a safe place for him to swim in his pool.
The rescued gator will be taken back to the alligator farm and released into the fenced-in protected habitat, where it can live a long and healthy life and become a future breeder for the farm. All right, y'all ready? Yeah. Yeah. Can you lower the rope down, both of you? This part of the job is really dangerous. We have to lift the gator over the fence and cut the tape off. I got her. Yep. The gator is still ferocious and looking for an opportunity to strike, even when it's restrained. Brittany's job now is unlucky. She's got to climb on the gator's back again, but this time, she'll be setting it free. Brittany needs to be careful because this gator is still angry, and when she cuts it loose, it could go after her. And she was feisty till the end. As the gator settles into its new home. We're already really, really yeah, late. We, we gotta go. On. We're still going? Yeah. Yeah. The girls need to get a move on. My hair's all wet and everything. You're fine. They're over two hours late for the graduation party and Chelsea's blind date. Ready to go meet your blind date? I guess. Let's go. Ready to go do this Let's thing? Let's go. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Come on. You'll be fine. Now it's time for the moment of truth. Okay, so Chelsea, Tyler. meet Tyler. Definitely in awe the first time I saw her. I turned around, I was like, wow. So, Tyler may be in awe, but he'll probably also be in disbelief as to why Chelsea is over two hours late for their blind date. It's a good thing she has proof. Look at this thing. No way. Like, that was a few hours ago. Crazy, right? I don't know if I'm impressing this guy or freaking him out. No, you better Give me one of those. Give me one of those. No! You got one right there. Never been on a date with a girl that's like Chelsea, you know, a hot girl that actually goes and catches gators. Never would be boring, that's for sure. Are you kidding? Yes! That's it? Woo! Tyler's a pretty nice guy. Good looking, a good personality, but I'm still trying to figure out if I really want to start dating somebody. I don't know yet. The Brooks girl's favorite pastime is airboating out on the St. John's River. Brittany's boyfriend, Jimmy, and Casey's boyfriend, Cody, are also avid boaters. But once again, Chelsea is riding solo. So far, Chelsea has been tight-lipped about her date with Tyler. It's time for some details. Are you going to hang out with him again? I think we ended off as friends. Throwing him in the friend zone. <laughs> Tyler's a nice guy. I mean, maybe I'll ask him to go fishing or something and see how he holds up. See if he can bait his own hook or not. So don't you want a boyfriend to be out here on the river with us so you can stop fifth wheeling it? I mean, yeah, but it's kind of like when you pick a car, you go see a nice one, you don't buy the first one you dang see. No, but you test drive it. <laughs> <laughs> I was setting myself up for failure on that one. <laughs> hey, Dad. Hey, we got another dinner call. Never fails. We're out here on the river having a good time, relaxing and we get a gator call. But you know what? It's part of being a Brooks. Have fun, guys. Don't lose a finger. All right, let's get out of here. Do you have the keys? Are you kidding me? While the boys try and figure out how to get home, the girls negotiate the pitch black night and arrive at the call. Colin had his dog out here earlier, walking around this old tall grass, and uh, seen a big old alligator out here. 
How big was he, Colin? He's at least eight to 10. This gator is a monster. That's a big gator. My dog started barking. I ran over, I grabbed him real quick, went to the house, put him in the pen, and I went, man, I called your dad right away because this ain't no joke. Last place I saw him was over by that tree that's shaped like a V. We got to find this gator tonight and get it caught for Colin because he brings his dog out here all the time, and we don't want to see his dog get caught by this gator. Searching for a gator in the dark of night is especially dangerous. It's going to be hard to see any tracks at all. Poor visibility makes it extremely difficult to safely rescue an animal capable of a lethal attack. How long ago did he see him? Less than an hour ago. Really? He's here somewhere. But first, the Brooks have to find it. You see any sign of him, Casey? No, not yet. So, Colin, you have a girlfriend? I do not. Well, Chelsea doesn't have a boyfriend. Casey? We're here on business. Is she being for real right now? We gotta be careful, though. If he's that big of a gator, eight or 10 foot gator, that's a big gator. Yeah, it is. It's gonna be really dangerous. It's gonna be a hard catch. This is where that tree was that I last saw him. He uh, could be close, then. He could be close. Watch where you step. Yeah. This tall grass, he can be right next to you and you not see him. Hear something over there? What's that? Oh, it's just cow crap. Look like a gator head. What's that right there? Oh, yeah, that's a big old gator. Brooks family have been called to a field behind a man's house where a large alligator tried to eat his dog. Girls, we found him. Come on. They've just found the gator, and it's a monster. Colin, you wasn't kidding, man. That's a big old gator. I told you he's a big boy. Yeah, I would have easily taken down your dog. He's a feisty one. All right, Casey, let me rope him. And Brittany, you get on him, pull his head back, and Casey, you and Chelsea hold his tail. The skater's not scared of us, and it's definitely showing it. Now that we're trying to rope him up and take him out of his little area that he's been roaming around in, he's getting really aggravated. The skater's moving quick and move faster in this grass than we can. Alligators are really aggressive animals, but their disadvantage is they'll have quick bursts of energy and then they'll tire out. We're gently poking the skater with our pole, not to hurt him, but just to kind of get him to turn in circles, get him to burn some of that energy. Hit him towards you. Before they can rescue this alligator, they have to gain control of it. The team circles the gator, getting its attention and moving it into position so Ho-Ho can rope it. We want to do it fast, but do it careful. He could take that rope right out of my hands. This is one of the most dangerous alligator rescues we've ever been on. With this thick, tall grass, it's hard to get that rope around the gator. I have to use the pole and kind of guide the rope over the gator's neck. Hold on, hold on. Look at his tail. That was awesome. I have to get Chelsea's number. Now, Casey, help me hold that tail. Hold on, Brittany. 
We need to anchor down on both ends. It gives them a less chance of rolling when Brittany goes to hop on the back to secure the head. If they want to roll, they're going to roll and fling whoever on them off. Under my hands. Hold to him, Chels. It makes you feel proud to have your kids there working with you. They've learned what we learned from our dad. You know, pass it down from generation to generation, catching these gators. Good job. Working with family, there's nothing else like it. We trust each other with these gator rescues. We have to have each other's backs. It's a dangerous job. He's heavy. <laughs> but at the end of the day, there's nobody else I'd rather work with and trust with my life than my family. That's what I call a good day on the job.